Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, so sorry about that. I've been so busy with work and we have our last week of summer school coming up and then I'll be completely done. But I just wanted to show you a cute little um, makeup look that I, it's my go-to for like the summer. Uh, usually for the summer, I, I do like soft glam, just like eyeliner basically with big lashes. And I feel like for the summer, because we're all getting so tan, you don't really need to put on like a whole bunch of makeup just because we're wearing fun color shirts and stuff. So I feel like you should let your clothes do the talking. Maybe you get like really cute nails. Also, um, so I have like the French manicure thing, which like looks super cute, but I um, smashed my finger like two weeks ago on the door and then um, unrelated, but then my nail fell off, just me trying to open my car door. And I was like, what's happening? Thankfully, it all happened to one finger. And I don't know if you guys could see like that little like, dot right there but I heard that like you could drain drain it out drain out the blood that all f like went up there by like poking a hot needle into your nail and it'll melt and the like blood will come bursting out and I tried but like I just couldn't get it through and I think it's because it's like so small compared to like the rest of my nail like you could barely you know so I don't know they uh, apparently they said that my nail might fall off but hopefully not uh but anyways, yes, make sure your nails are always looking good. Uh, and right now I have my hair kind of semi, like, wavy and, like, beach waves, so it's not super curly. Um, I could show you guys. It's just, like, cute little waves. Uh, but I'm just going to put it up really quick so I can do my makeup because it's hard to do, you know, your makeup with your hair and your face. But, yeah, I'm just going to do a really quick quick look and um i hope you guys like it so keep watching okay so first of all i washed my face and um i did my skincare routine so i already have the moisturizer and so the next thing i would do is i've been really into this maybelline baby skin it's like um instant pore eraser and like i get so many pores like right here you guys probably saw like a lot of it um, so I just like to hide that and also I don't know if you guys see I have like like a little beauty mark right there I don't know if you could see it. it's like a beauty mark slash maybe it's a skin tag and this is so silly of me but I've I've been thinking about getting a face tattoo <laughs> but like just a dot right there because I already covered it up with like um I use this freck thing this cost $22 but it's lasting me such a long time and I just cover it up, um, so it's not like I'm faking a nunar, it's just like, I'm giving the one that I have some color, uh, cause you could see it's like right there, and then I have freckles like right here, but you just can't see it when I put on makeup, um, but like, I think freckles are so cute, if you have freckles, <laughs> shout out to you, so yeah, I just put the, uh, the pore eraser just right here, and then I blend it out over here where I have like, this is just where I get a lot of pores. So I do that. Next I'll be using Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty. I actually really like this one and I'll show you guys. It looks like that, but when I put it all over my hands and my face, it looks kind of shimmery, which I really like for the summer because it kind of gives you that like extra glow. And I always bring it down on my neck because I bring my foundation down on my neck. But you can't really tell maybe, but it's kind of glowy and shimmery. So I do that. Alright, next thing that I'll be doing is my eyebrows. So first, I'm going to be using this NYX um, brow glue. So I like to use this because I sometimes don't have time to go get my eyebrows laminated all the time. And... Um, I, brow lamination can become really expensive, but honestly, it's so worth it. It's, it's awesome. So I kind of just put it down there. And this gives your brows like that lamy look, you know. So for right now, they don't look like cute and laminated. 
Uh, but I just want it to like kind of dry and I'm going to use a spoolie. I got this off of Amazon. They sell like 500 for like $4. I'm going to grab the spoolie and then I'm going to start shaping them into where I want it to go. This doesn't last as long as like a lamination would, but it kind of gets the job done just to like make it look a little fluffier. Uh, but I will say just like if you have very thin eyebrows, it'll probably last you the whole day, but I have thick and like stubborn hair. So it just like, especially over here, it's, it's like a lot. It likes to like do that, which is like annoying, but whatever. I'm cute. I can rock it. Okay, and then I'll go and do the other one. And I don't want it to look too feathery, so I just gotta make sure you like kind of blend blend it in like that and then I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple seconds I'm gonna have some of the string this is like agua de limon with piña pepino and apio so not me being healthy okay so the next thing I would do is I'm gonna add another layer of a NYX product, but it's the NYX Control Freak. Um, I highly suggest you get this, especially right after you get your eyebrows laminated, because it'll like, it's so good. I'll have to, next time I get my eyebrows laminated, I'll show you guys a look that I do. But this is like a gel that I'll add on after like maybe a week of having my eyebrows laminated. And it just makes it like super, super nice and perfect. It's, it's amazing. So you kind of see it's like just really making them fluffier. I'm just gonna... Also, welcome to my room. Um, I feel like I don't talk about this room that much. I change it up like all the time. I didn't used to have those mirrors in the background, but... I just love my room so much. It's not big, it's like a very small room, but it's like designed for me. Uh, maybe I'll do a room tour. Well, well, I mean, my whole room, you could see it in this camera. Um, but I just like it, it's like very calming, like colors and my bedspread's like orange. And I have my desk over here and that's like my YouTube channel like schedule and like my workout schedule and it's like, I'm not a messy person, but like I feel like that's probably the messiest part of my whole room. And it's not even messy. Okay. So now as you maybe saw like above my eyebrows, it's like I have that gel over there. So I want to get rid of that gel before it dries because then it's going to look clumpy when I put my... Um, I don't know if you guys could see that. It'll look really clumpy when I put on my foundation and I don't want that. Okay. It's like 90 degrees out. We'll talk about a hot girl summer. I think it's looking cute. Not perfect, you know, just cute messy thick eyebrows all right so while i let those sit i'm going to be doing my foundation cool so i use a morphe m439 brush and i just got a new one because my other one like the hairs were like coming out so three things that i do is i use this brush I use uh, either the My Maybelline My Fit Me or I'll use a Maybelline BB cream. Today uh, I'm going to be using this one. And basically what I do first 
is I add a little bit to my hand and then I just do little dots everywhere. I don't like to put on that much foundation because I hate when makeup looks like really cakey and then also like in a non-conceited way I have really nice skin I don't really break out so I don't really need um you know that much foundation which is like amazing I'm gonna put the rest in here okay so I get my brush and then I have these sun-kissed booster drops from elf and as you could tell I'm like getting towards the bottom I add one two drops that's it this basically is just like mixing it in with your foundation and it makes I feel like I look super sun-kissed so I could show you guys right now I'm gonna start blending it in I'm gonna go in circular motion I know it may look like this color is too dark for me, but it'll blend in. I promise. I'm going to Cancun with my boyfriend in like a couple like weeks, like two weeks, two and a half weeks. So I'm hoping that I come back looking a little bit more tan. I like never tan. That'll be really nice. I remember I'd always go back down. Also, when I do my makeup, I always have like a little like, um, you can't see it right now, but like a little toallita. So I could like, if there's excess, I literally just dab my makeup brush. That way I could go in and it's kind of like fresh. Um, there's a big ass mirror behind the camera, so if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I want to make sure <laughs> I have, like, precision. Sometimes I'll add a little bit to my ear, you know? That way it doesn't, like... Everything just needs to blend, basically is what I'm trying to say. Alright. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is going with my foundation. So I always use two. I use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, and this is color light beige. And I use a Revlon Candid 015. So this is like, it looks really white, but that's to give you like the airbrush look. But I only use a little bit of this one. Sometimes I'll use this one by itself, but I don't want to look like super airbrushed. So I do a little here and a little there here and then there and then if I ever have like I do get like a pimple I usually get them like around here or here I'll just do a little dot on top of my pimple or whatever blemish that you have feel free to cover those babies up so I'm just gonna let that sit in and I'm just gonna go and rebrush these So as you can see, it didn't like fully stay into that um, like lamination look, but it made my eyebrows a little bit thicker, which is like nice. Okay, next I have this like little baby like beauty blender and I'm going to start going in to my eyes. I'm just going to be blending. And I just kind of like dab, I'm not like dragging it out. And then I just add a little bit on top of my eyes. Okay, and I'm gonna go to the other side. A 
Okay, now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go in on top with the Revlon Candid. Uh, I use 015 for my uh, skin tone. So for this one, I actually do dot. I don't know why. Like, it, I don't have like a reason. <laughs> it's just what I do, baby. Okay, I let that sit. So while I do that, I'm actually gonna go into my eyebrows and this is, you can't even see it anymore, but it's a Morphe eyebrow pencil. I'll make sure to put everything in the in the description box. And just because my, I feel like my eyebrows are kind of thick already, I just kind of fill in those like sparse areas where it looks like there should be hair. I also think I'm gonna upload this video without editing it just because a bitch is tired I got I got a job you know I can't be editing so if it's really long I'm sorry you guys I don't I won't be offended if you you know skip a little bit no worries um just trying to show you the real me without editing so if I fuck up a word you know I'll fuck it up I'll, re I'll correct myself Okay, so there is my completed foundation and concealer. So now I'm going to be going into a bronzer slash contour. Um, so I do have this. I still have this since I started, you guys, since I started this YouTube channel. And I'm going to keep using it because I paid for it. But this is a Wet n Wild concealer contour so it's like a cream but today I'm going to be using powder and I'm using you guessed it Physicians Beauty Butter Bronzer I'm almost done with it I also have this in travel size because when I travel I don't want to bring this whole thing so I have a smaller one uh, so I'll be going in with this I don't know what this brush is called and I don't know where I got it and it doesn't say the name anywhere but I think it's Morphe I got like in a pack um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in a little bit, and if you guys can see, it's kind of like an angled brush, so this is, I don't even know if this is like for contour, but it's <laughs> what I'm using it for. I'm just gonna go up on top, just a little bit to give my forehead a little bit of like, that contoured look. Then I'm gonna go into my cheeks and bring it up. I feel like I look so much better in this mirror than I do on this phone, but trust me guys, I'm looking good. I'm looking good. Then I always bring some down by my chin, mostly because I don't want to look like I have a, you know, like a double chin, so. And I don't like to overdo it, so I just do like a little bit. And that's my contour. I put all my brushes over here, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing just a little bit on my nose. My nose is still gonna look big and Salvadorian, no worries, y'all. So I have this Morphe M164. This is a new one. I'm just gonna do like right there. And then just a little loop. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. Now I'm just going to blend it out. If you guys are interested in seeing how I organize my makeup in my drawers, let me know. I was thinking about doing a video like that, but I sometimes feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm boring and people don't want to, like, watch me. But, I mean, I know that's not the case because I have, like, a whole bunch of new subscribers. Hello to all my new subscribers from El Salvador. You guys are amazing. Got like almost 70, 70 new subscribers since my trip. So you guys are great. So bienvenidos. This is me. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like... 
the videos that I want to do, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't think they're boring. I'm sure some of you don't think they're boring, but for the most part, it's not like eye catching. It's not like, you know, what people want to see mukbangs and like pranks and stuff like that. And I just like want to show you what's in my drawer, <laughs> but it's, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So now that I did that, I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is a elf brush. They're like $2. And then I'm going to be, this is my favorite blush. It's a Wet n Wild. Um, it's called Nudist Society. I've used this in so many of my videos. Just because I have it, so I'm going to use it. I don't want to spend that much money on stuff. But I just do like a little bit. And I smile just a tad bit. Bring it up. And then I just do a little bit on my nose. I'm going to keep this out because I might do a little bit of blush again. Then I'm going to put on some... What is this called? I'm putting on some... It'll come to me. Baking powder. Or not baking powder. Freaking, uh, freaking... It's called RCN powder. It's like what you use to bake for underneath your eyes. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't... I can't remember what it's called. Setting powder. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, um, I will put all this in the, um, description box. Oh my god, maybe I should edit this video. I don't know what I'm saying. No, I gotta be real. Okay. So, I am just gonna set it, like, kind of by where I was contouring. And then just a little bit right there I might add more bronzer I'm not sure yet but I'm gonna be doing that and baking while I go into some more brow and eye stuff so I have this brow contour pro so it has a deep brown shade a light brown shade and then it has like a highlighting thing and a definer, a definition. So I'm just going to go into the deeper shade color and just kind of just a little bit add some stuff. As you can see, it already looks like I have a lot. Literally, that was it. So then I'm going to go back with the spoolie and just start blending all that out. Man, I have such pretty skin. I'm so lucky. I can't believe it. Shout out to Jesus. Ugh, this one looks so cool. And this one looks like she just, you know, came out of prison. And like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean when I say that? Okay, so now I'm going to go into this definer color. And I'm going to just use it to highlight underneath my brows just to make them pop i know some people use um concealer but i just feel like it looks like cakey and like sticky so i'm not gonna use that but i will be ah i don't know where all my things are okay i will be using this other morphe brush it looks like this i feel like this is for eyes or maybe it's like a lip thing but I use it for this I just use it to like blend it out and you could totally see like how more defined it looks and um, yeah all right so sorry this video is gonna be so long you guys I might edit some parts we'll see okay so next I'm going to just be doing some quick eyeliner so that I probably will be doing off camera and then I will you know edit everything back in don't want it to be too long you guys
Okay, there's my eyeliner. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. I feel like it's all right. It looks good. So now I'm going to use this Real Techniques setting brush and just wipe away, um, wipe away all that stuff right there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and fill in my new knot. You guys can see it, you know what I mean? Um, it's just like there's no color to it. So I've just been, you guys see it, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not, gotta re-blend that. Let me do it on this mirror real quick. That's it, it's so tiny. And I don't know why, but that's what I wanna get face tatted. That way I don't have to keep doing that all the time. Or like a stick and poke or something, you know? Okay, just gotta re-blend over here. All right, so now I'm going to put on some lashes. These are Demi Wispies from Ardell. If I could get in there. Loki, I feel like I suck at putting on lashes, but I've been getting a lot better. So let's try it. Okay, so I always make sure to have it ready to go on my tweezers, and I'm gonna be using this duo lash adhesive. Put some on, on these bad boys. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put these on off camera. <laughs> Okay, there's the first one, probably, maybe. Yeah, it's looking fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and do the second one. Okay, I put them on. That's awesome. Hey, go me. That's awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to just add a little bit of more blush, just a tad. And just waiting for these to kind of like set in, cleaning up a little bit. I, I'm gonna put on some highlight. So I use this ColourPop highlight, as you can see. I've used it for a really long time. Um, cool. So I use this Morphe M532. It goes really well with this. So what I do is I use this Professional setting spray. 
and I spray the brush and I'm just gonna you know dab it in there get in there start with my nose and then I'm gonna start easing it on my cheeks I'm just adding a little bit right here in the center and it's very light but you guys can see like how much of a difference that makes oh, I'm dropping everything okay so now that the lashes seem to be pretty set in I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara and I'm just gonna be blending my lashes in together Wow, I can't believe I got those on. Usually it takes me like forever. Sweet. Oh my god, I just remembered lips. Okay. I'm literally just going to do something so simple. I'm using this e.l.f. lipstick. It's called Perfect Pink. I think these are discontinued. I don't think they make these anymore. But it's like a tint. It tints your lips. Okay. So now that that's all done, I have my makeup done. Uh, what's left is putting on a really really cute top So I'm gonna change my top and I'll be right back All right friends the top is on so I'm just gonna take off My hair and back up a little bit so I could show you guys like what it looks like Um, You could put on like any Type of earrings. I'll just put on like some hoops Um as you can see, I didn't really do, like, that much to my makeup, uh, just because, like, I already know that my boobs are going to take away a lot of the attention, you know? So, I'm also wearing some, like, high-waisted shorts, and this is, like, my hot girl summer look. The shorts are from Forever 21, and this shirt is from Sheen, my sister. Just gonna adjust really quick. My sister got it for me. I'm not wearing it like a bra or anything because it looks like that. Um, but yeah, that is my hot girl summer look. I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to like and comment and tell your friends to subscribe. Subscribe if you're watching this for the first time. I love new followers. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, cuties.